So that people ask me, what and why does David Wilcox mean so much to you? Um, I'm going to answer that. I was involved with the YMCA research program for six to seven years when I was in grade school. Every year we went to a leadership school called Blewett Leadership School. There was one class I had called Pirate Very 17 with Al Ernst. Al Ernst is the motivational speaker slash comedian slash ex wrestler. If you know of the enforcer from WWF, the enforcer is Al Ernst. But Al was one of my teachers for this class along with Keith Tasto. And this was during our midterm. My midterm, we had to listen to a song and journal about it. The song they played was Hold It Up to the Light by the one and only David Wilcox. That song talks about it from the Robert Weiss poem Towards the Verge. And if you read that poem and listen to the song after, it's about making a decision to not being afraid to make decisions because no matter what decision you make, it'll be right. And hold it up to the light that says, be proud of whatever decision you make. And so, that song was played throughout the rest of the week, so I really, really got attached to it. So I came home, I did research on David Wilcox. David has 20 albums out. He's been doing this for 20 some odd years. M makes many, many fans, touches many lives. And just the lyrics and the songs, there are too many to count, but they've saved my life. For example, on top of the roller coaster, it's about living a life to the fullest and uh, just having fun and enjoying life. Hold it up to the light, like I said, it's about the system making. Uh, he has many, many songs like that and I, I didn't plan this video out at all, I just wanted to start talking. Um, he, he says this a lot where you become speechless. Um, he talks a lot about the language of the heart. And that is a very powerful thing in my eyes. Whenever you experience David, he, he is, he knows how to connect the heart. Yeah, he may be laughing and having a great time on stage and you may be cracking up and throughout the whole show, but he's doing some surgery on your heart. 
after every show I've been to, I've been rejuvenated, revitalized, and inspired by his lyrics and stories. A big thing about David is his storytelling. And if you watch my video, uh, Dynamite in the Distance, it's an 18 minute long song, okay? Uh, he really dove deep into the story of his and the, the lady next to me had tears rolling down her face. And I just turned to her and said, that's the power of David Wilcox. Um, to be able to attend this weekend is beyond phenomenal. I'm gonna, I hope to get to spend time with David and tell him my story in depth. Just so how he knows how he impacted my life. Um, and in his songs he talks about, in his stories after the songs, he often talks about his wife Nance and his son Nate and I just feel so connected with the family through his stories that they feel part of his family almost. Um, I guess the highlight of my experience with them is Getting him to come on my radio show, Grassroots Groove. Um, that was... Wow. How many people get to say they've interviewed their idol on air? Their idol. I was sitting across the table from David himself, him singing songs and us conversing about music. How that can say music is the la music is the language, and it is. And I hope that sometime you give him a listen. DavidWilcox.com and you won't regret it. But that's all I'm going to say about David. I'll have a lot more to say when I come back from David Wilcox weekend 2011. So, talk to you later, guys, and uh, yeah, bye.